All right, what up, guys? So, I thought I would do a top 10 while I was riding so that you have more to look at than just me sitting behind like a desk or something like that. Also, uh, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers, all the people that have been here since day one. Uh, we're about to get to 500, that's awesome. Definitely did not expect the channel to grow this quickly and it wouldn't have without you guys coming back to watch my videos. Also, uh, these are all just my opinion and everybody has their own opinion. So if you don't agree, then let me know in the comments. Also, I will try to link everything down below um, so you guys can find it if you're looking for it. And there is a link for $100 off a Super 73 down below. Again, you guys keep clicking that link and supporting the channel and it just drives me to make more and more content for everybody. So thank you guys. All right, let's hit that intro and then we'll get into the top 10. Welcome back guys and like I said before this is not in any specific order and this is just my opinion but first thing on the list would be when you're riding would be um, a pair of glasses um, or goggles if that's what you prefer uh, I have ridden without glasses going 20 miles an hour or faster and a bug or a little rock or something flies up and hits you in the eye uh, it's no fun. So after that happened one time, I now always wear uh, a pair of glasses. I have goggles, um, but I choose to wear glasses, at least for right now. Okay, number two, obvious for a lot of people is a helmet. Uh, I said in a previous video, I used to do a lot of skateboarding when I was younger. I never wore a helmet ever. Um, but now riding a bike, especially around traffic and all this stuff, uh, a helmet is imperative in my opinion so I highly recommend uh, you pick up a helmet I personally use um, a Rurock uh, and they're pretty expensive and I totally understand that in fact I was turned off in the beginning because of the price but I pulled the trigger and I know there's definitely um, better quality ones and like dot certified helmets and stuff out there but this is what I ride with and better than nothing okay number three would be like a backpack um, I don't always ride with a backpack but I do have like a, um, a bike bag and uh, in that I keep some tools like a water bottle and um, some spare tubes don't always ride with spare tubes it kind of depends on how far away from my car or my house um, I'm gonna be riding but it's always a good idea to have that and like um, like a little mini bike pump in your backpack uh, number five would be a bike lock and uh, again I don't always ride my bike lock but I'm not going places that I need to lock my bike up all the time so a lot of times I will just be riding around to and from the place I'm going and not, I'm not stopping so if you're gonna be stopping or putting your bike outside anywhere, I highly recommend bringing a bike lock. All right guys, so um, number four would be a, uh, like a bike rack for your car. Uh, I did put my bike in and out of my car quite a few times uh, in the trunk and then I decided, hey guys, check it out where we are real quick. Look at that right on the beach and I just passed a sign that said no motor vehicles so I'm gonna do some pedaling uh, where are we at oh bike rack yeah for your car it's so helpful just to be able to like stick my bike on the back of my car and not have to worry about 
getting it in or out of the car, or if I have people in my car, I used to have to put my seats all down, so bike rack, number four. Okay, number six, after the train passes. <laughs> Number six for me would be um, slime, or I, I personally use armadillas. Uh, I got turned on to that by Shreddy, but to have some kind of a, some kind of a protectant inside the tube, uh, you know, I haven't. Knock on wood, I haven't got a flat with a Super 73 yet, but uh, definitely I have some armadillas in both tires, and I have some extra tubes just in case. Okay, number seven. Number seven would be a, um, and I don't use this one all the time on this bike, but it's something that's really good to have, and I can put it on if I need it. Would be a phone holder. Uh, basically, I got the Tac Form one, and I have a link down below if you guys want to um, pick one up. It's a super strong phone holder, and I had a couple other ones before. I ended up giving one of them to my wife, who actually likes the one that I gave her. Not remember the name of it, but I'll link that below too. And um, she uses it all the time. In fact, she'll like set her phone up and then like film like for her little Instagram stories and stuff with it. So, phone holder. For context, we are at the Ole Hansen Beach Club here in San Clemente. I just got on the bike and I was like, I'm gonna do a top 10 and I'm gonna ride. And I'm not sure where I'm going, but I'm gonna ride somewhere. And this is where I ended up so far. I think we're on number eight. I'm sorry if I screwed up the numbers uh, for you guys. So my number eight would be um, a good headlight. Now, the headlight that came on the S2, in my opinion, is great. Um, I just like to accessorize stuff, so, you know, I changed it out to the cane built one. But, um, like, my wife's Z1 didn't come with a headlight, so we got like a little, it's almost like a flashlight, and um, you just kind of strap it around the, um, the handlebars, and then she has some kind of light for at nighttime. All right, nine would be a horn. <laughs> I don't have the most loudest horn, but um, this is something to get people, or even a bell for pedestrians. Say you're um, riding in Venice Beach, like I did a few weeks ago with Peter, Peter Parker. Uh, without having this little ding ding, People will basically just stand right in front of you and you're going like one mile an hour the entire time. So you're able to kind of let people know, hey, I'm behind you and uh, watch out for me. That's my number nine. So that's my top 10, guys. Um, I do have some honorable mentions. Um, one of them I don't really use myself very much, very much which is gloves. Um, I think it depends, like if you're riding in really cold weather, I can totally understand that you need gloves. And I'm, I'm sure some people will say, well, if you fall, uh, you would need gloves. Yeah, I definitely would uh, like to have as much protection if I did fall as possible, but hey, I'm wearing a helmet, right? <laughs> Cross over here. Uh, shout out to Shreddy, by the way. Uh, I know, I'm like, not a cloud in the sky. California, Southern California. Shreddy is dealing with tornado warnings at his house right now in Delaware, so let's hope that uh, all is good for that guy because Shreddy is the homie. Um, another honorable mention uh, item would be um, 
like a Bluetooth communication device. Um, I use the Senna 30K, and it basically, I don't know if you guys will be able to see much of this in the camera, but um, have a little microphone, and it's got little ear pieces inside my helmet. So if I had somebody else who I was riding with who had one of these, uh, we could communicate, which is awesome. And then on top of that, you're able to uh, connect your phone to it so you could play some music I mean it's not like having beats audio headphones on or nothing but at least you can hear some music and you can take you can take phone calls which is pretty rad so gives you some options so those those are my those are what I recommend for accessories if you guys are still waiting on a bike and you were like me and you basically spent a bunch of time on Amazon. By the way, we just hit 38 miles an hour downhill. Um, <laughs> and you spend a bunch of time on Amazon trying to find all the accessories and different things you guys would want. Um, yeah, I feel you. If you don't have a bike and you're thinking about getting one, definitely check out Super 73. Again, link down below, $100 off uh, any model. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next ride. Peace.